the barking dog and the ringing bell. Oh, gee. And we have more work to do. Ah, but that's what tomorrow's for. Hey, so it was fun because, um, so now we're going to do the dialogue part of the play um, with some commentary first. Because it was fun because I, uh, I looked up and started watching you all working and it's very beautiful actually so there's one thing you should know about yourselves um that you might not know because when you're working you're working right you don't get to watch but i was watching you and you're all very beautiful there's like a like a glow each of you had like this glow like oh, like that so um you know on those days when it doesn't feel fun or good or interesting or worthwhile or whatever, um, know that you're all very gorgeous when you're working. It's kind of your muses, you know, they, they show up and they, they sprinkle the dust. Oh, coffee. If anyone, also another thing, if anyone um, ever wonders if these thermos really work, they really do because it's so hot I can't drink it my coffee. So. Okay, um, so now we're going to do the dialogue part where you ask me and the group questions about your work and your creative process, what you're going through, any issues, dramas, problems, solutions you might have you want to share.
Karen, just ask them yeah, to be questions. Oh, you did? Oh, awesome. So we don't have to yell. But so the fear, fear is something that's there. It's, it's kind of a, you know, if you're um, in a car and you're a writer, fear is going to be one of the people in the car. No big deal, though. Because all writers, all artists have it. Um, Prize-winning writers, not prize-winning writers. You know, just like you, you, sometimes you might hear of famous uh, actors getting stage fright. You know, it happens. I hear Bruce Springsteen get throws up before show. Oh, I can't go on. You know, and then he goes on and says, "Oh my God, the boss!" Right? Even the boss. So, so, but thank you. And the idea is, you keep coming back. Thank you. 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 Thank um, I, I've been working on this play for the last year, cool. uh, and I think I'm kind of close to the end now. But I'm sort of reaching this point where every time I look it over again, there's new things to tweet and new things going on. Right. I'm wondering if you have any issues of like knowing what to stop, right. and, you know, when, when it's time to take a break. Do you have any of those issues towards the end? Of the sure, sure. What's your name?
about 12 years ago. Okay. I had um, something happen. Oh, okay. And life changes. Oh. People dying. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. So, but then the other day, I, I was teaching. I teach a class, and I decided I would recite a poem that I just made up at that moment. And I heard my voice. Uh-huh. And, um, so I'm glad I came here because I heard it and then I didn't do anything. My students were stunned. Huh. And um, so this has been, I, I was listening to Dylan and just realizing that, that, that just stepping out of that place, whatever, for me, that dark place that I had to step out of it right. and begin this process. And you get to hear my voice, right. which is different from the one. But I don't know what it is, so it's, it's, it's a journey. It's a, it's a strange. So this has been lovely to sit for 45 minutes. I'm so glad. So what's your name? Stephanie. Stephanie. Yeah. Might you come back, Stephanie? I'm not here all the time. I live between here and Baltimore. We're online. That's we stream online. online. <laughs> I can do uh, that. Drew, where, how can you find us online? Drew. Uh, Drew. If you follow us on Twitter, we uh, tweet the link. It's a live stream link. Okay. And you can, from your home in Baltimore, you said, yeah. Stephanie, yeah. you can turn it on and just sit back there, and there we will be working. And you can even tweet in questions that you have. So you, you can, you're always here. <coughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, but sometimes that happens. Stephanie says she's, she's a writer. She's not writing for many different reasons several years ago, and now she's coming back here. And I think it's really important to keep showing up for it. So maybe you find a time during the day that is a good time for you. Maybe are you a morning person or a night person or a morning person? So set aside some time. I know you probably have a lot of things to do during the day. Set aside a little bit of time every morning to devote to your writing, whether it's 30 minutes, 45 minutes, whatever. You know, try to tune in to watch me work if you can, because then you can keep in touch with us and we'll answer your questions right online. Okay. But definitely put the time in. Yeah. Like, e like every day. Like every day. Even if it's like 30 minutes. Or 15 minutes. I know, I know you 15, it makes such a difference. Like 15 minutes makes such a difference. I do a yoga practice. And it takes two hours a day. But they say that if you don't have two hours, all you need to do are like five poses, which take 15 minutes. That's all you need to do. And then it accumulates, like compounded interest, like a bank account. Y'all have bank accounts? Or so whatever, you know, I don't want the numbers or anything, but, right? And you put like a dollar, if you put a dollar a day in, or five dollars a month or something, over time, it accumulates, and it's really nice. They are really working down here. She's throwing ice in the bucket. No, it's fine. She's working. She's working.
character backgrounds and all this kind of stuff. Right. And, and I've been trying to just sort of write through it, right. but I still find myself sort of spinning on, on because starting for me is always the hardest part. Right. And starting every day, you right. know, sitting down and starting. So I'm, I'm, I know that there's no one right way for everybody, even as you were talking at the beginning. But sure. um, the same goes true. I was wondering if you saw like seven voices over me, not being like good voices, but good muses, but all just like saying, no, work on this idea, work on this idea. I've just been really, as with this question, kind of confused about it all. Right. But well, that's a great, what, what's your name? Aaron. Aaron? Aaron. Yeah. Like A-A-R-O-N? Aaron. Uh -huh. Where are you from? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. But that's a great question that Aaron has. Like, how do I start? What's a good way to start? Do I outline? Do I do character? Uh, do I dialogue with my characters? Right? Do I have a conversation with them? Um, or do I just jump in and write? Right? The, the, couple things. Um, you want to choose the way that might work best for you. And you don't. if you don't know that way, you have to think, okay, um, maybe if you're in a car and you say, we're in New York and we want to go where? You just want to drive? I just want to drive. No, I want to go to Santa Monica. So you get a map out. What's going to make you the most comfortable? Okay. Then you have, so you have to choose. So you have choices. You can outline it. You can talk to the characters, or you can just jump in and write. Because you're asking a question, my guess is, my feeling is that you would be more comfortable doing a little bit of pre-writing before you write, right? Go out on a few dates before you, right? Okay, no, really, you want to get, you want to feel comfortable, okay? You want to stick your toe in. There's nothing wrong with that. Sticking your toe in, okay? What you need to do is set a time Limit, like Mike. We're going to set a time. We're going to give you a deadline. So if you want to outline, how long would you want to outline? Just write a, a plot, you know, plot summary. No Roman numerals necessary. How long would you give yourself, Eric? What do you think? Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> um, maybe even just like an hour. Just an hour? Maybe. Okay. Why don't you give yourself a week? Or a week. No, I'm being generous. <laughs> up every morning you're going to be writing okay you're going to sit at your writing area and for maybe an hour a day you're going to outline this happens and this happens and this happens you can use cards you can use just typing it on a computer or whatever you can write it out by hand just a little sketch this happens in this scene then this happens and then this happens and this happens and you spend about an hour a day for a week that's your deadline then you're going to write you will have done the prep work, okay? Like a gardener. You're going to till the soil and fertilize it and all that kind of stuff, okay? So give yourself that and see how that feels. I think you have to allow yourself to be okay with being uncomfortable. A lot of times we're uncomfortable and we think, that's bad. A real writer shouldn't be uncomfortable. A real writer should just be, you know? I don't mind. Or sometimes I just jump in and write. It depends on the project. But outlining is a great thing to do. Stick to one project. When do you want to be finished with this short film that you're writing? Uh, in about three weeks. Three weeks, great. So you're going to outline for a week. You're going to write for two weeks. Then you're going to be done. So three weeks from today. So what's three weeks from today? Uh, it's going to be June, June 5th. 5th? Okay. Fourth? June 5th, that's your deadline. We're going to hold you to it. Like, Tweet in or come back and visit us and tell you that's how you're done. June 5th, that's your deadline. You're done. You write the end. You're done. It doesn't have to be completely ready for Steven Spielberg to, you know, direct. But you're done. All right? So one week to outline, two weeks to write. That's it. Okay? Okay? So that's your task. Anybody else? Speaking of, yes. we have to relinquish the feed. We have to relinquish the feed. Bye, feed. So that we're not online anymore. So we don't have to be online. Does anybody else have any burning questions? We won't have them online. Anybody have any like, painful moment things they're going through? Okay, bye online people, bye. No? Okay, so we can go. So come back next week, we'll be here. Thank you so much.